Hello, everybody. I look atrocious right now. I took a nap earlier, and I'm hoping I can go to bed tonight. I get up tomorrow morning at 4 a.m. like I did to this morning. Actually, it was like 4.55. But anyway, I got my AirPods, if you guys did not know. I got the video coming up soon, the unboxing. I have this little purse here with my keys, so many keys. And I have my AirPods Pro 2 that I got, and they are amazing. I love them. Um... I think I might end up taking them off my purse here and putting them inside my purse just because they're more protected and not getting like flung around. Um, but I did get my AirPods Pro too. But yeah, I don't know. I, I, I think I want to like put them like inside my purse because like my keys are already on the outside. They're annoying enough. Um, I'm going to take them off because like I hate how the purse like flops over here. And the AirPods on this side just makes it way too much. Yes, AirPods. We got my AirPods Pro too. I love these. The noise cancellation is fantastic on them. Oh my gosh. Anyway. Yeah, I know. I know. I'm going to do that because like, like my, I was like, you know, like what if someone steals them or something, you know, like just like season, it's like an eye opener, like, oh, they got AirPods. I'm going to go get their bag, you know? And it's like on top of that, they're like flopping all around. I throw my purse in my car. They hit stuff. What if it's raining? They're better inside, protected. I am going to buy the Apple Care on them for $29. It's just a one-time cost of $29, and I can get them, like, redone. Anyway, I wanted to bring you guys along on a little project. I have been binge-watching a whole bunch of people doing cash to stuffing. Um, I treated myself to a pink drink earlier. My sister wanted one. I was like, let me just go ahead and get a little pink drink. I did my nails over this, little, like, little, like, nude pink color. And I was like, we need to do this challenge that I heard about. And I've been watching these YouTube videos all day of people cash stuffing. If you don't know what cash stuffing is, basically you get like your paycheck. I don't know for how long. Um, you know, I get paid every week. Thank you. I got it on Amazon. It's so cute. They have like a little like droopy little smiley face I was going to get. I love it. It has glitter on the edges. Mm, so pretty. Anyway. Um, but yeah, I've been watching these and I just watched Maria's budgeting and she said about doing these envelopes, but yeah, cash stuff. And you basically have like all these envelopes and they have like categories. So like you have like your savings, vacation fund, your car payment, your car insurance, your miscellaneous purchases, your beauty, like makeup and nails, coffee, whatever kind of, you know, things you want to incorporate in your life. Um, I don't like doing that because I hate paying in cash and I guess I could put the money in there and then like only use it out of my checking account. And then once I use it, come home and then rip it out of my envelope. I'm guessing that's what most people do. Cause I, I would hate using cash. I hate cash. It's annoying. I just love using like Apple pay, just like double click and go pay. Um, or just like grabbing out my wallet and getting out my debit card. Um, but I'm doing a few things this month on a budget plan, okay? Um, so I just want to make a little video on it. So we're doing uh, a total of three things so far this. Well, actually, there's multiple things I'm doing. I'm doing four things. Big problem with me is whenever my money is on a debit card, I just go out and I just spend, 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 spend. Then I go on, I check my balance. I'm unhappy. I spent way too much money. So my tip is that I always go to the bank every single week. And I used to do this all the time. I don't like doing it so much now because now that I have a new bank, which I might end up going back to my old bank if they want to give me an account. I don't know. I'm going to, I'm going to check and see if they want to give me an account. And I might go back to that bank and just like put like my savings money in that bank and then like have two separate banks. Let's go ahead and just put an application in. Let's see. Let's see what they do here. Let's see if they want to give me an account because I really did like having my account there. But they're probably going to say come into the branch. And I don't feel like coming into the branch. I'll just keep my own checking account. Well, let's open one online, the Easy Choice Bank account. Anyway, while I'm doing this, I like to take out cash. So I just go to the bank and I rip out some cash, a whole bunch of cash savings. I love the feeling of cash. Um, it just like feels so like, you know, hmm. but um. I right now for my total, this is like my savings. Okay. I like to take my savings out in cash. Now I started this new change jar, which is way back here hidden. Where the hell did it go? Oh, there it is. I don't want to knock anything over. Oh shit. 
I started this change jar. I got this big thing at Target. It was $5. And I already started this. I have a whole bunch of change here. And then it's like with a little buckle on it. And I told myself we're not going to touch it. But I have $5 down in there, which I can't even reach. <laughs> Look, that's actually a good thing. I can't even reach it. There we go. I got it. But I have $5 that I threw in here. And I just want to like keep on throwing like 5 to $10 every single week in here. But I think I'm going to change this. Only keep this as a change jar. And I'm going to get little envelopes. And I'm going to make and do this 100-day challenge, which is like a cash stuffing. So I'm not doing the cash stuffing because I don't really feel like it would work that well for me, but I am like just like keeping cash out of my account to like save. And right now I don't really have that many bills. So all my money basically goes to save. And right now for my savings, I have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, $170. And that is totally saved in cash. Um, now I talk a lot on Snapchat on my vlog about, um, cash saving and stuff. So I threw my five in there, but now here's my plan, the cash stuffing delete, but the 100 day challenge. Now I don't really know how exactly it works, but I'm pretty sure, um, a hundred cash stuffing envelope challenge. Yeah, it takes 100 days. And every day you're supposed to basically work towards this. And if you can't do it every day, then just do it, you know, like as often as you can. Maybe do like 100 weeks. It'll take a long time, but um, you can do it. Now, I don't want to start with $1. I just feel like that's like so stupid. So maybe I can just like up it. Um, but basically what you do is you have numbers one through 100. And basically every day you do a $1 bill and you're one holder. On the second day, $2. Third day, $3. Fourth day, $4. Five, fifth day, $5. Sixth day, $6. Seventh day, $7. And you continue this process until you hit the 100-day mark. And if you add them all up, you're going to have a lot of money. If you just do a dollar for 100 days, that's $100. But you got to figure that you're doing 100 plus 99 plus 98 plus 97 plus 96 plus 95. So I was just going to do like the, I was going to try to attempt the 100 challenge starting this week. Um, I don't know how long it'll take me, a long time, because like $100, like every single day, like for, after I get up there in the, in the next few days, it be crazy. But for the first few days, I just want to go and rip like a good amount of money out and just like start my cash stuffing. Um, and probably just like, just like throw it in like a separate jar. I'm going to go buy like a separate bin or jar tomorrow and fill it up and then lock it in my safe and then just keep it going. But that's kind of what I'm doing. Um, so I just wanted to bring you guys along on that. So anyway, let me go ahead and apply apply for this for this bank account because I did like this bank because that's the problem um I I went to this bank they they really screwed me over because I had a check that was supposed to deposit and I had a lot of money in here and they held all of my money accountable but it's like I ain't gonna have no more checks coming in this bank because I'm not gonna be putting them in this dumb bank um but yeah, they blocked my entire account up and like held all my money from me. And luckily I had money in cash. Thank God for cash stuffing. Um, but I've been doing cash stuffing for a while. I just never did like envelopes. I just like throw it in like a big wad in like my wallet or my bag. And usually here at my house, whatever. Um, so anyway, but I'm going to fill out this application and see what they say. Um, if they want to approve me, they're probably going to say, yeah, we're unable to verify you, your identity this time. We can help you open your account at a branch. Please come to a branch. I'm not coming to a branch, but yeah, I hate, I hate my bank because you got to take cash and you get your cash out. And at my other bank, you can just go in and you can just like throw in cash, like pull right up to the ATM and click deposit and then push in your cash. But you go to my bank that I have now, you actually got to wait till they're open and then go inside or in the drive through And then you got to say, can I please deposit this much? And it's like, sometimes I only want to deposit $5. 
and it's a pain. It like takes so much of their time and it's like, I know it's their job, but anyway, let me try uh, another bank here. I know one's not going to give me an account, which why can't you get a banking account? But it, it's stupid. Um, they don't want to give me an account because I'm just, you know, young. But here we go. Let's check this out. Let me check this one. Open a checking account online. Now including for students. Okay. Learn more and apply. Let's apply online. I saw on this guy in Barney outfit. He got on top of a chair and broke the right leg. Oh my gosh. I saw this banana person in Target yesterday. It was some banana person. They were in a banana fit. That's how it is with my bank and going in the ATM and deposit the money, which is faster than waste. I know. But it's like, no, I got to sit here and like put in my check card and all my cash. And it's like, you know, like I don't like going in the bank and like going up there. I'm like, can I deposit 1000 like whenever I get to that much? And it's, they're going to look at me like, are you like some kind of like drug dealer? Is this like legit funds? Like I just have the machine to do it with me. And it's like, there's some nights where I'm like, oh, I forgot. I got a bill coming out tomorrow. I need to go to the Mac machine. It's 10 o'clock at night. They're not open. So it's like, anyway. This bank offers this as well. Excuse me. Okay. Okay, this will work for me. Checking and savings together. Apply for checking and savings. I want checking and savings. No. Next. Tell us about yourself. Let's see what's going on here. Date of birth. Email address. They probably won't give me one either because, like, like I said, a lot of people don't like me because of how young I am, and they just like don't like, trust me or something. I don't know why. Mainly because I need to have somebody else on my account, but we'll see. See if they if they give me something. I am in Pennsylvania. Fill it all in myself. There we go. Get that out of there. Yes. Oh no. ID type, driver's license, Pennsylvania, issue date, March, it was just issued whenever he was, when I was home, let me see, I went in to get my license, He wasn't, he's coming home here. So it was the 14th, 15th expiration date. It must be six months from that. So 15th, April, May, June. So I guess, or no, it's four years from then. One, two, three, four, March 15th, I guess. Next, use recommended address, continue. No, thank you. Employment status, employed, occupation. Oops. Plus, they don't like my grandfather. I don't know why, but this bank does not like him. <laughs> Start date. Um... 11, 28, 2021, or yeah, oh, 11, 2021, next, personal information, submit application, probably going to say, I'm sorry, we can't approve you at this time, I know, we're sorry, your new application could not be approved, thank you for your interest, in this bank. 
<laughs> I told you guys. What did I tell you? Um, this bank sucks. It just does. Um, banks. What else is there? What other banks are around here? Like, I need, like, a local bank that, like, I can go, like, their branch that has, like, the, like, stuff here, cash in the machine. I know of one, but I don't really like them. They're junk. Um... Yeah, I don't know. I'll have to check out my bank. It might just be my location, but they, I know like they have one down in like my grandfather's hometown. I'm thinking that they might, um, that some of these locations might be a, like a deposit ATM. So I'll just have to like, like go around, just like try a few different places, but like right there is a branch Right there is another branch. I'm going to check out that branch when I'm down there again. I'll be down there by the end of this week. So when I'm down there for my grandfather, I'll check it out. There's a 24-hour ATM. That's not a branch. So I need to have a branch. And here's another branch, another branch. I can also go the one up here in mechanic, in this little area, by all the mechanics. And I can go there. Where is this one at? Oh, that's the other one. Yeah, I can check out that one too. So while I'm away tomorrow, maybe I'll go tomorrow and I'll just like drive around to all the banks around my area and just find a bank. I'll check the one out out there, see if they take cash deposit, and then I'll go to the other one, see if they take cash deposit. But like I type in here, does my bank, does blah, bank take cash deposit in ATM? Like, and they're so, like, they're, like, the best bank, like, the best local banks around, like, the best local bank around here. And, like, their app is, like, the best app ever, best bank ever, best interest rates ever, but they just don't have a deposit cash option. It's weird. But it says deposits at automated teller machines, funds from any deposits, cash or checks made at ATMs that we do not own. So why they add that we do not own if they don't have their own ATMs that have cash inserts or operate will not be available until the fifth business day after the day of your deposit. This rule does not apply at ATMs that we own or operate. So I'm just going to drive around tomorrow until I find one. Oh, there's a good many. Um, in my town, I can go uh, about 25 miles from my house. And there's one. There is one. These are, that's actually way wrong because it has my wrong, that's like my wrong address. Um, anyway. Oh, that's why. There we go. Let's fix it. There we go. There's one right by me about five miles away. There's one about six miles away. There's one seven miles away, one 11 miles away, one 15 miles away, one 19 miles away, one 23 miles away, one 24 miles away. And there's one 32 miles away and one 33 miles away, which ain't that far. I mean, I drive there all the time, so not bad. Anyway, but that's my little challenge I'm going to be doing for myself. I think I'm just going to throw all the money in the cash jar, have like a separate jar. I'm going to go to the bank. Not tomorrow, but like a different day. Oh, yeah, I have three that I have two that are like really close, and I have one that's like a little bit close. Well, that's just my banks, just my bank. 
but it's like you're counting all the banks. I have a ton of banks. I mean, we got members first. We have Orstown, Santander, PNC. Um, I said members first already. Uh, um, National First Bank, Wood Forest. There are so many banks around me. Um, anyway, but. By the way, I'm so irritated with Remo tasks. I'm about to like blow up their entire machine. Literally. Spell wetsuit. Start tasking. Their, your task key is empty. Why don't I have any tasks to complete? I want to get paid. God, it's so annoying. I hate it. Anyway, we're going to open up my Notion. I'm going to create a whole brand new page in my Notion. Here under income. I have all kinds of checks and stuff coming in. And then I'm going to go to a new section and I'm going to create a new page. And this one's gonna be called Cash Stuffing and Saving. And I'm gonna add an icon. Is it like a cash icon? I use the cash. Oh, I don't want I don't want an emoji, I want an icon. Cash. I'm going to use cash machine, cash register, currency, or currency cash. I'm going to use the currency with the other thing. And let's just pull it up here and then stick it right there under current things. And right there, it is under my finance. Cash stuffing. And then I am just going to click right down here. Add new. More. There we go. And then I'm just going to add a little area right here. And I'm going to do a little divided little line. And then right here, a little color. A plus. And then a heading number two. I like the medium heading. Actually, can we do number heading number three? It's a little bit smaller. I like that one a little bit better. A small section header. Remove this one. Delete. By the way... Let me know. Yeah, that's where I that's where my bank is, right by Starbucks. Works out perfect. Um, do you guys like avocado, like avocados? And do you like avocado toast? Let me know. I tried it. I don't like it doesn't have any flavor, and I'm just like, ugh. I, I just I just hate anything that goes in my mouth that's green. Like broccoli, I can eat. Green beans, uh, yes, but recently I haven't liked them because they just don't taste right anymore. Um, but I used to love them with olive oil and salt. Um, peas are okay. They're not my favorite, but they're okay. I'll eat them. Um, but I love my broccoli with cheese, or even without cheese, with butter, with like meat seasoning. Oh, it's so delicious. You don't? I don't either. I tried avocado toast and it's like bleh. And I hate lettuce. I can't stand lettuce on my sandwiches. I used to be able to eat salad, but I could never eat lettuce on my sandwiches or my subs. I'd always get them plain. I can't even eat salad no more. It just like makes me sick to my stomach. Anyway, new color here. I'm going to use green. Since we are talking about money here. And um, we can add a nice little cover image. I'm just going to do a little cover. Let's just do a little unsplash. Let's do bank. Cash. Stuffing. We'll do this one right here. That one looks good. Then heading number three. Um, hold on. Aesthetic cash stuffing image. Let me just like a little cash stuffing aesthetic image. Those are not United States dollars. Oh, there's my way to with my stimulus check. That's so cool. Like, it's so cool I see these people like do all this stuff. Oh my gosh, that's so aesthetic. Save image as downloads. Girl, can we get this to work up here? Oops, hold on. Change cover. Upload. 
Ew, that's so ugly. If only it would be like a header image. Oh, there, my God, there's the header. Oh my gosh, guys, there's the header. I love it. It's so cute. Oh my gosh. Okay, come on, let's do it. Let's do it. Oh my gosh. Come on, I don't want it to go there. I want to upload it. Upload, up image. Why does it keep going there? Change cover, upload, upload file, downloads. It's called images one JPEG. There we go. It's not my favorite thing, but it works. Anyway, so header number three. That's so cute. I don't mind onions. I love McDonald's onions. I like they gotta be really chopped up though, but if they ain't grilled and then chopped up, I don't like them. And carrots, I don't mind either. I don't like to eat them that often, but like I don't mind carrots. So I was always fed carrot baby food as a little kid, and my mother would make me carrots with like honey dressing on top when I was like growing up with like chicken nuggets. So I'm pretty used to carrots and I like them, but I, I just, oh my gosh, I just can't eat avocado. Ick, yuck. I, oh, yeah, oh my God. It's like baby shit. Anyway, <laughs> okay. Um, so my first header here, I'm going to do my, I'm going to do wallet stuffing. And then I'm going to have another header right here. And we're going to, again, do header number three. And then I'm going to choose a color. And I'm going to do, I think, um, pink for this one. And I'm going to do this one, um, my coin jar stuffing. And then I am going to go get another little bin tomorrow, either at Target or somewhere for my other ones. Or else I'm going to find a bin around here and, like, clean it out and use it. And this one, I'm going to do purple if they have it. They do have a purple one. Actually, let's do a different color because purple is kind of, like, I don't know. Let's do yellow. And this one is going to be my cash stuffing and then I'm going to have another one here well cash stuffing is in my wallet stuffing so this one we're going to do my 100 my 100 envelope stuffing challenge okay and then I'm just going to add right here I'm going to do text and then I'm just going to make it, I'll make it bold then. Um, I'm just going to put in parentheses, all the money stuffed into my wallet. I, I might end up leaving like a lot of it in the bank, but I am going to start this 100 envelope stuffing challenge. Um, I'm going to start, like, I'm going to jump up. So I'm going to do 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. I'm just going to put it all together, though. I'm not doing, like, wasting my time buying or ordering all these envelopes. I don't feel like doing that. So all of the money stuffed into my wallet, I'm going to make this bold and italic. And then right here, I'm going to put in here all of my coins in my stuffed. Let's do stuffed into my jar. Star, star, spare change. Star, star, parenthesis. Oops. Star, star, parenthesis. How do I make that all capital or bold? Huh. Must have been some kind of option that you can do. Maybe because I did like a star, star or something around it. There we go. And then uh, my 100 envelope stuffing challenge is gonna be money stuffed into a container like a 100 day money challenge. And I'm just gonna do like in here, one day, one, one dollar day one, five dollars day five, fifty dollars day fifty. Star star parenthesis. A little comma, a little comma. Oops. 
a little, that's it. And then I'm going to make this bold and italic. And then starting right here is going to be starting everything. So current, current wallet stuffing, $170. And then coin jar stuffing. I don't know what is in my coin jar stuffing. So I'm just going to like do like percentages. So I'm going to consider that like, let's just say it has one, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm going to say one out of six. Cool. What's one out of six simplified? Simplify one over six. That's the simplest form. So one out of sixth, full. Then down here, my envelope stuffing. I need to go to the bank tomorrow, and I'm going to do. Well, actually, I'm wait till like Friday, and then on Friday, um, because what's in my bank, I kind of need right now. So, I'm gonna go to the bank. I don't know what day. How much? How much money would it would it be to to do up to day ten? I need ten plus nine plus eight plus seven. It just adds up. Plus nine plus eight plus seven plus six plus five plus four plus three plus two plus one. That's fifty five dollars. So fifty five dollars to go to day number ten. Just day number ten. <laughs> Oh my gosh, yes. Oh my god. Um, so yeah, um, we'll figure that out. But I'm gonna go to the bank and end up getting money out for cash stuffing. And the way that's looking, things are looking bright now. Looking back at my shopping list, we have a few things on my shopping list. Um and that's that. So I'm just gonna put in here going to bank. Thursday or Friday, doing up to day 10, because I don't like want to take so long. So that's going to be like about $55, and then I'm going to get out some more money to get into my current wallet stuffing. And then my coin jar will just be like a little spare change that I have, and that's going to take like a really long time. That's going to be like a long project, because I don't get spare change, because half my change is in my bank account. So... Anyway, that's where we're at with cash stuffing and cash saving. We'll get there one day. Now, going back to my main page and my Notion, I do need to do my nightly route, my nightly journal. So let's go ahead and do a little nightly little journal. I'm going to have a new entry, and we're going to do 3, 26, 23. Open her up. Date today. Feeling. I'm feeling accomplished and excited and happy and inspired also notes starting cash stuffing feeling good about the experience can't wait for the cash stuffing and a hundred envelope challenge to pay off and then add a property, add a comma, and that's all that I'm going to add for my little journal. And then right here is a daily summary. So here you just go in and just add. So here is 3, 26, 23, date today. My highlight for today was cast stuffing and rando nautica. Um, cash stuffing prep and rando nautica. And also I did a shed cleaning cleaning today, cash stuffing prep, and rando nautica. Actually, I'm just going to do cash stuffing prep. Low light. Nothing. Uh, I'm also going to put in here AirPods Pro 2. Oops, I spelled that wrong. Pro 2. Um, I had no low light today. I had a really, really good day. Achievement. Cleaned shed. Um, gratitude. Little movement, right? You get all these in. I don't really ever do these. I just like don't really care. 
that's really all that I do is just add like a highlight. And then here's like a little tracker. So then I just click in the mood tracker here. I did have more in here. What happened to all my moods? They must have not got saved. Huh. Okay, well here's today, 32623. Factors, health, work, relationship, finance, weather, feeling I'm not sad, I'm feeling happy. And then that's it. That's all I do for that. And then I go down here, Bible readings. We now have three Bible readings. Oops, I messed that up. Command Z, Command Z. I now have three Bible readings. Drank water today, really, really low. I only drank like 25% of my water today. Um, my average mood today is a 4.8. I'm really, really good today. Um, I'm feeling so good. Cinnamon's mood currently, he's kind of like a little bit down the dumps today, I feel like, 92. He's okay. He's just not like as good as yesterday. And that's it. That's my, my nightly little journal there. Okay, sorry, my phone's on sleep mode. I try to have at least like three to four glasses of water every day. Hey, mamas, let's see if you can fit a husband in here. What? Yeah, you. Okay. Get in. Whoa. Oh my God. Ow. What the? He fits. You have more leg room. In okay. <laughs> Shut up. I had no low like that. Shut up! Oh my gosh. Anyway, uh, back to my notion for education for school. I did get an email today from my teacher. Oops, that's open my bank. I want to open my email. She did say that we have an assignment to do tomorrow, which is, yeah, tomorrow. And that was to complete. What, it, what was it here that she put in here? She said to complete, sign the course that complete the introduction to drama Nearpod. There is also an elements of crossword that you can complete and turn in for extra credit, which I'm not going to be doing. Um, so American literature, we're going to go in here to assignments and then type in a new assignment, introduction, course, American lit, and then the due date is tomorrow. And that's it. That's all I'm going to do. Um... And that's it. Then we're going to see her on Tuesday. And that's pretty much all that. Now, next up on my list here, um, I just wanted to do um, some little things. Let me check out my informed delivery. I, I like to, I want to put this in my notion as well. So I'm just going to create another page informed delivery. Um, just like it's just like a faster way to get there. Add an icon mail. Um, that's what this is. If you guys did not know with USPS, which is the United States Postal Service, um, you can actually get your informed delivery. So cute picture. Let's use that one. I mean, it's not amazing, but it's like nice. So anyway, um, yeah, you can just like, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take the, the link from my informed delivery and just like put it right in here. And then you can just open it and it takes you there. But informed delivery, let me go over here to mail pieces. There is, okay, Pennsylvania Department of Revenue. Okay, that's for about taxes. Um, so there is that. And I'm going to put that. I don't know where I want to put informed delivery on my notion. I guess under daily. Um, so yeah. Anyway, moving on, guys. I already got a cure egg at Walmart. And then my I had a little thing in here. And that's what I wanted to go, which is my shopping list. Right here. Shopping list. Um, bedside table lamp. I already got a small coffee maker, so we can just get rid of that thing. I'm just going to. Where was the option? There was an option here that you can. I forget what the option was, but you could like throw it in like the archive. Oops. Anyway, the curtain rod for my clothes, I don't think I'm going to do. 
I just feel like it's a waste of money. The bedside table lamp, honestly, this table lamp is still good. I'll leave it on my list, but I don't think I'm going to go buy it. Just saving money where we can, guys. We don't really need one. But, yeah. Yes. Yeah, I got a Keurig Express. Anyway, um, when's my spring break? We need to add that in there under my little thing. And then I'm going to get off of here because I don't want to be on here any longer because I am, it's 11 o'clock and I want to get up early, early tomorrow morning. I mean, I don't have to, but I want to. Um, spring break, April 3rd through the 7th is spring break. So let me just put this in here. Let's go over here to school. And then if we go down here to these little interesting little points here, we can do April 3rd through the 7th, spring break. Off school and office is closed. And then April 10th is an asynchronous day. And then I'm going to add in here April 21st, idle filter. And there is no school for that. I want to do that. Go back up there. There we go. Okay. Fourth quarter begins March 27th. I'm going to get that out of here because it's already here. Uh, Monday is an async day. No live sessions. Tomorrow is Monday. So I'm going to get this out of here as well. So there's all of our information um, for Mar for April. And then that's pretty much it. Then, yeah, that's it. So anyway, that is that, guys for all that. And tomorrow is a new marking period. So there we go. Everything looks like it's pretty good. Um, got all that stuff in there. Got all that figured out. Anyway, I want to check out some other stuff on here. So let me guys know what you guys think. Um, I did do a new thing for my YouTube channel as well. If we go over here and go to my channel, I did a whole, like, collage for my YouTube page now, so I hope you guys do like it. Video coming out tomorrow. It's a minimal, what's on my iPhone 14 Pro Max, minimal theme, beige, Widget Smith. Actually, I'm sorry, coming out on Tuesday. Um, so you guys can watch in 33 hours, so definitely like and um, be ready for it. I'm going to put my entire description in the comments. I always like to do that. Because everybody opens the comment section. So I like to add that there. But yeah, that's it, guys. Um, yeah, we're doing a video that day. And then I have another video of the AirPods Pro unboxing. I have to edit. And I have a video, a vlog that I filmed. And it's 11.09. My sleep, my sleep mode is on. Nothing really is important, though. Just some stupid, dumb shit that they can't answer me. But yeah, I was up at like 4.55 this morning. So anyway, my alarm is set for 7.30, but I am setting another alarm on my phone. That way it will not shut up and it's nice and loud and I can't just use my voice. I should get up and find my phone and turn off the alarm because I usually use my A-L-E-X-A lady, but, and I am going to set this alarm for 4.45 a.m. Label. Good morning. And I'm gonna, I'll, I like a little, like, little stars up here. And then I'm gonna do the best part of waking up is Folgers in your cup. <laughs> and then I'm just gonna pick a little sound. I should find like a sound that I can download. This is the best part of waking up is Folgers in your cup. I love that commercial. Can we just share that commercial really quickly? Let me share that commercial really quickly. This one, Morning Tradition. Watch this. To face all the chores ahead. To let aroma come through when the folder starts to brew. The best part of waking up is folders in your cup. It gets better. Folgers is mountain grown coffee, and the rich aroma of mountain grown beans makes folders one coffee made with the morning in mind. Now things are feeling right. You see the morning in a whole new light. There's hard work to be done. Another day yet to be won. The best. 
heart awaken up his soldiers in your cup <laughs> Here's a cup, cups of coffee. Anyway, I love that commercial. So it's like my grand, like my grandfather and me. Like I always drank coffee with him, and like I love the classic flavor of Folgers coffee. It's like so good. The best part of waking up is Folgers in your cup. Don't get me copyrighted. Now, I want to just test this really quickly by making it to be 11.14 p.m. Save. And then have my phone on. And then just look laying here and see what this, if this actually goes off. But, yeah, it's like a grandfather and me. And we always had coffee together. And it's just like the greatest commercial. I love that commercial. So... There are some a lot funnier ones of Folgers. I don't really like their new commercial. I really don't. Um, new reputation. And Stop. Okay. Cashless envelope stuffing. So she pressed envelope like I was saying, how like you leave it in your bank. That's my problem. Like I just can't leave the money alone if it's in my bank. Okay. This is going to go off in five, four, three. Two, one, beep. That's the wrong sound. Good morning. The best part of waking up is Folgers in your cup. It's right on my screen. Look at this. The best part of waking up is Folgers in your cup. And anyway, I just like love that song. It's been like stuck in my head. Why is Long Live Cowgirls not working though? The sound. Long Live Cowgirls. Cross me. Long Live Cowgirls. Now, save, and let's do it again. I don't know why it did not work. 11.15. Let's wait again. 30 seconds. It better work. I love that sound. Like, gets me up, but, like, slowly. Long live cowgirls. Anyway, I was watching the budget station, and, oh, my gosh, it was so crazy. She, um... She had well over $10,000 in her cash little thing. She had this like piggy bank thing with this big old like cash thing and you like shove your cash in and she did it for like a whole bunch over $11,000. It still didn't work. What the hell? Well, we just, we'll just use one of Apple's things, but not this one. I don't know why it's even using these. Ring. I'm going to do cuff it. Let's do that and let's retry it again. One last time. Gosh. And then I'm going to jump off of here because we got other things to do tonight. It's 11.15. I'm going to get ready and go lounge. Then I'm going to finish my paint drink here. I'm going to guzzle this thing down. That one worked. Okay. Now fix the time to 4.45 a.m. Okay. There we go. My alarm is set for 4.45. I better wake up. Um, but, yeah, we got our little cash stuffing done here. I'll make a trip to the bank. Tomorrow when I'm driving around, I'm going to stop at a few of the of my banks and see if they have the cash deposited. I mean, I think the one might. I know of two that might. And let's put my AirPods inside of my, in my bag. So I can even get them back off of here. There we go. Yeah, these are my AirPods Pro, too. And they have the noise cancellation with the little gummies in them. Oh my God, they won't even come out. I had AirPods 